Well, good morning, everyone. I have Kitty Yanko with me this morning. We have a handsome young man with us this morning. We do. This is Toast, and I love that name. I don't know <laughs> for sure why he's named Toast, but he was a stray, and we think he's about two years of age. He is your classic, sweet, lovable tabby cat. He just enjoys being with people, and he's purring. He does have a very sweet face. Absolutely. I mean, he. the staff tell me that he's the first one to greet people when they come into the room. He likes to cuddle. He plays well with the other cats, so I think good. he's just an all-around good boy. Okay, so he plays well with other cats. Uh, slow introduction for dogs, you would think. Sure. I mean, you know, he's an adult, so you never know. But, you know, if you take it slow and separate them and give them their own space, it usually works out fine. Yeah, and, you know, we were kind of talking about dogs a little earlier on. Uh, it's been very rainy outside <laughs> lately, and some people have pets that do not like going outside when it's raining yeah. uh, and kind of having to get creative when it's time to take them out to go to the bathroom. Definitely. If you especially have a little dog, they just don't want to get their feet wet. So give them a treat maybe after they go to the bathroom outside and come back in. Just mm -hmm. make it fun, you know, talk to them, kind of make it something that's different than the normal day to get them out so they don't potty in the house. And as far as, since you did mention that Toast was a stray, if you notice any stray animals in your area when it's raining, maybe give them a little bit of shelter, or just a place where they can kind of hang out and just dry out. Uh, and if you are able to, get them somewhere safe, like the Pure Humane Society PCAPs, you know. Yes. Work with the animal shelters locally to get them a safe place to be. Definitely. And, you know, I think that's the case for just keep your pets at home and know where they're at and yeah. make sure that they're safe and healthy. Always know where they're at. And if you would love to adopt this sweet little man, you can, of course, email <laughs> or call PCAPs at the number on your screen, 672-2440, for more information. Back to you.